Yoga mania! Do you have your mat? Are you going to class later? Okay, I'll see you there. I'll fart in your face. Okay. Um, ooh, it's a good stretch. It's a good stretch. Ooh, it's a good pull. Oh, I disconnected my calf muscle from my leg. I'm feeling a little high right now, so what I have to say you might want to take with a grain of salt. Listen to me at your own risk, but I also feel like I have a point to make. And it's a point that I make uh, time and time again. I'm a, I'm a preachy guy. What can I say? Um, ooh. <laughs> Are those headphones on? What are you listening to? 30 Seconds to Mars? Okay, let's come and talk to me. Oh. Um. Because <laughs> if you're a... Because if you're a 24-year-old woman trying to get your career started, this is the face you want to see in the morning sweating. Oh! Um. Yikes. I was thinking about what it takes to create stuff and um, from time to time for Million Dollar Extreme I ask people for help on like I ask people for help animating and illustrating and there are people who come and volunteer to, to do work on the on the show so I have in addition to my own creative experience I kind of have like a producer's a little bit of production experience in that I've seen other people um and also in school, but, but my, what I've seen uh, making YouTube videos has actually been more enlightening and in-depth. Um, what I uh, have seen is the creative process, what people do when they're trying to make something, what creative people do when they're trying to make something, and how that goes down and how your personality affects that. Um, for the longest time, I thought that uh, ideas are shit, and a good idea is uh, is a piece of shit to be. Next time you next time you come up with a really good idea for the next app that combines social media and and uh, shopping, just remember that you just created a nice little piece of shit. Okay. Next time you come up with an idea for uh, an entertainment video hosting website. Just remember that you just made, you should be proud of yourself because you just made a piece of shit. Um, and that the actual, the actual thing, the only thing, the only thing, the only thing that means anything is uh, the work you put in, the, the effort, the horsepower you apply to your problem. And uh, I think this is a possible answer for one possible answer that explains part of the question uh, why is why is so much why is so much of what we get in the world whether it be culture uh, television music products automobiles why is so much of this stuff uh, that makes it to the big time you can't you can't in your garage you cannot come up with a Buick Park Avenue okay I don't care how talented you are you're not gonna make this um, so the people that get to that upper echelon of, of uh, prime time, um, you know, two and a half men or whatever, the top, or even, not even the top, but just like the middle, people who get anywhere, um, is, it's basically how hard they can bang their heads against the wall. That's, this is one partial explanation. How hard can you bang your head against the wall? Uh, how many times can someone spit on your in your face and you'll keep your nose to your desk like this and keep working scribbling your answers down your stupid answers because you're a retard you're the dumbest kid in class uh, but you will graduate and the opposite end of that spectrum that I've seen is the the pure creators the idealists the the free spirited makers of things oh, I just yeah, I just don't want to be bothered I just want to make stuff um, and I, this is a lot of the people that volunteer to, how you doing there? Volunteer to uh, create stuff for the, the channel. Um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just vlog, I'm making a video of myself talking so I can post it on YouTube later. No, I'm not weird. Have a good one. Peace. Um, no, I'm not a creepy loner with attention problems. You just witnessed a normal person in the year 2011, so keep on chugging. Um, 
what was I saying there? Oh yeah, and the opposite end of that spectrum, the opposite of the people who bang their heads against the walls are the people with really good ideas, and they who don't, who don't understand, uh, who don't understand, who won't, I guess they do, they probably do understand it, but they won't make that compromise um, to be a, a pragmatist to actually get the shit done. And it's very, it's very black and white. Um, I would, I hope to uh, consider, I hope that I have struck a, a, a rational balance myself, that I'm in the, the healthy gray area here. I don't, I don't really, um, I don't do much commercial work. And uh, although partially the reason for that is I can't really get any, but I don't think I would do too. I did quit it. I quit a career. I had it was a weekend. Yeah, I had a decent uh, job that I quit for the show. Anyway, um, but on the other hand, I'm not. I don't have these sort of high-minded ideals where if something's not, if something is not perfect or 100 percent, I like to. I try to get the videos out and. Uh, and in the in the idea in the information flow in the matrix as soon as possible. Hey, no, I can't be here. Okay, all right. You got the Subaru there, huh? I dr I drive one of those myself. My friends all make fun of me. They say I'm a lesbian. That's the top lesbian car right there for Subaru.com. Oh, yeah. Tell me, what's your owner's experience with the Subaru Lesbian here? How's it feel? <laughs> do you have a? Right there. Do you know what Luna bars are? No. They're uh, they're bars that have estrogen and soy in them for for women who well, want to grow penises instead well, of their vagina. Hey, hey, well, uh, I don't know about that, but hey. hey. All right. Well. So I love my Subaru. Yep. And I love what it does. And it gets me where I gotta go. I hear you. The last two storms here. Yeah. I was the only guy on the street out here. Yeah. Only one. I made down, made safe, took it back, and hit. That's absolutely right. I feel the same way about mine. I hear you. How many people would you have? I just have one. I just have the one, and it's my last one. Yeah. I, this is my. That's what they say. All Subaru wagon drivers have little dicks. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. That's what they say. <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna take mine, man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. All right. Show me your dick. I know, man. I was you too. Uh, thank you. I am funny. <laughs> now that's what's called putting a little car salesman on it. And you need to do that. This is something that Nick taught me. Um, I guess I lost my point that I was, I was trying to make a profound point earlier and I lost it. I don't know what it was and it probably sucked anyway. But you are an idiot and you're watching the video online so you're listening to some guy talk and it really doesn't matter what I say. You just like the, you just like my smile. And if my teeth were whiter, and my <laughs> and I was a woman, I would have more views. Um, but that's called putting a little car salesman on it. When somebody asks you, can I help you? And they tell you to get off the grass, try to figure out something about human beings. All right? Don't take, that's an opportunity. If somebody tells you, if somebody told me to fuck off to my face, I, you know, it's, it's an opportunity to learn something about how, uh, humans work. Don't take it personally. Oh, what the fuck? Bee. It's a bee. Um, yeah. Put a little car salesman on it. <laughs> As if car salesman is an oil that can be bottled and rubbed on your joints to make you more, uh, charismatic. Which it probably is, actually. Um, all right. Anyway, just to remind you guys again, the Mercedes Summer Sales event is coming up, and you can own the Mercedes, the over, the perfectly engineered Mercedes of your dreams now for a, a lower price than you thought you could, but you have to act right now. Um, and you have to be wearing uh, stain-proof Dockers and a, uh, you know, Tommy Hilfiger button-up shirt and some, uh, some uh, Sperry Topsiders. And you have to, you have to have a miserable love life, but you'll get your Mercedes. That's all.